A lesson about uh, when to leave things well enough alone, the website BuzzFeed put up some pictures. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times the Streisand effect backfired on celebs. First, I just see that Elon Jet is, uh, is banned, and people, I'm already, it's already going nuts, you know, I'm getting all kinds of notifications. For this list, we'll be looking at incidents when celebrities tried to shut down videos, photos, or websites, but ended up making them a media sensation instead. Has a celebrity cover-up ever made you want to dig into something more? Share it with us in the comments. Number 10, a fake Pippa Middleton account. In her book, Celebrate a Year of Festivities for Family and Friends, Pippa Middleton offered party tips and recipes. Yesterday, she launched her first book called Celebrate, a Year of British Festivities for Family and Friends. Now, Pippa isn't giving interviews on the book, but she did sit down to make Halloween decorations with some children. Some reviewers pointed out that her suggestions for a memorable event were pretty basic. The parody Twitter account, at Pippa Tips, played off this idea and offered their own overly obvious advice in bite-sized tweets. Fake Pippa offered gems like, a wedding toast is usually accompanied by champagne and not peanut butter. Although the description clearly states it's a fake account, Middleton didn't appreciate the humor. Her legal team sent a letter demanding the site be taken down, which only drew more attention to the parody. In fact, you can even purchase a book full of ridiculous parenting advice authored by the creator of At Pippa Tips. Number 9. Tom Cruise's Scientology Speech Although Tom Cruise's movies bring in millions, he's definitely had his media ups and downs. In 2008, a video of the star enthusiastically praising the Church of Scientology was leaked onto the internet. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. The theme from Mission Impossible played while Cruz expounded on his religion. The church went to great lengths to get it removed, claiming it was edited from a much longer presentation for a Scientology event. Am I gonna do it or am I not gonna do it? Period. As they tried to force the takedown of the video, it was quickly picked up by the media. Once it became a news story, use of the video fell fair use slash dealing, making it difficult for the church to remove the video on copyright grounds. You're either on board or you're not on board, okay? But just, if you're on board, you're on board just like the rest of us, period. Number eight, Nicki Minaj defends reputation. Nobody calls Nicki Minaj a cocaine user and gets away with it. Honestly, I'm not in the mood to play with you. You either have the information you claim you have, or we're done. We're not in the mood to play. Actually, that's pretty much what happened in 2022. Marley Green, a blogger also known as Nosy Ho, posted on her Twitter account that Minaj was an addict. The rapper said that although Green was a nobody, she believed it was part of a larger attempt to discredit her reputation. Now Nicki Minaj is suing me, okay? So, um, ain't nobody over here scared of lawsuits, okay? Now you need to call your wolves off and tell them to stop threatening me, your barbs, but ain't nobody scared of lawsuits. The threatened lawsuit brought a lot of attention to the accusation. The result was a much larger following for Nosy Ho. Just a week after Minaj's complaint, the Twitter account added over 1,000 new followers. If she'd ignored the jab from this relatively unknown personality, it may have gone completely unnoticed. When people used to lie about me, I was I never used to clear I never used to clear my name. Number seven, Jordan Crawford's dunk on LeBron James. During a pickup game at a basketball camp, college player Jordan Crawford dunked on pro LeBron James. What was it like to dunk over the king? Well, it was you know it was exciting, but I really didn't realize what I did until all the you know the high school players I was watching you know they got real excited about it and went crazy. You'd think this move would mean bragging rights for the young player. Sadly, videos of the game were allegedly confiscated by James's sponsor, Nike. Allegedly, there were two cameras uh, rolling tape, and Nike asked the, the photographers to hand over the tapes. Did you witness any of this? Did you, did you see it? Did you even know what was going on? No, I didn't witness none of it. There was a quick backlash against the pro player for what seemed like a petty power play. James has dunked on many a player in his career, so why not let the college kid have his moment of glory? If the video had been left alone, they'd probably have come and gone pretty quickly. Instead, the takedowns brought more attention to other incidents of poor sportsmanship on the court by James. Well, it's a, it's a play that happens in a game of basketball a lot. You know, and if you like to call yourself a shot blocker like I call myself every now and then, <laughs> that may happen. Number six, Axl Rose's unflattering photos. We've all had a bad photo taken now and then. Usually, we instantly delete them with no worries. Axl Rose wasn't so lucky. Some unflattering photos accompanied a review of a 2010 Guns N' Roses concert. Although the original article was positive, the photos were picked up by another news set with the headline, OMFG, Axl Rose is fat. This led to an unfortunate meme called Fat Axl. 
People all over the internet took the photos and added titles with reworked Guns N' Roses lyrics. It's definitely not okay to mock someone's body, and thankfully most memes eventually fade away. Unfortunately for Rose, trying to get people to stop posting the pictures only made them want to do it more. Number 5. Ridiculous Pictures of Celine Dion Professed Celine Dion fan Nick Angioleo decided to have a little fun by creating a Tumblr page that featured photos of the singer making bizarre facial expressions. The Canadian songstress is so expressive that finding wacky photos isn't too difficult. <laughs> However, the singer demanded that the site be taken down, and Gio Leo didn't have the time or money to go into a legal battle, so he complied. However, the kerfuffle around the incident brought even more attention to the collection. Thanks to the mighty powers of Google, it's pretty easy to find those photos with a simple search. Meanwhile, Angio Leo now contents himself by working on his new fan page, Star Jones in Hats. Number 4. Khloe Kardashian's Unedited Photo If you want people to notice something, try to suppress it. It's the basic tenet of the Streisand effect. Khloe Kardashian experienced the full ramifications of this when her bikini photo was inadvertently posted online. Khloe is upset that this photo of her in a bikini by a pool was posted online and then began circulating all over. She issued notices to have the pic taken down, which, of course, made everyone want to see it. You may wonder what's wrong with the photo. Was it scandalous? Shocking? No. The photo was simply a casual pic that wasn't filtered or photoshopped. It, it would have came off a little better. Now that she's wanting to sue everybody, now she's getting the criticism. The legal team worked hard to remove it from the internet, but it's still pretty easy to find. Unfortunately for celebrities, the more fuss you make, the longer something sticks around. Number 3. Elon Musk Bans Twitter Account Elon Jet College student Jack Sweeney used public information to track the movements of Elon Musk's personal jet. It was just meant as a fun project because he was a fan of Tesla and SpaceX. You know, so I was a fan of Elon and Tesla and SpaceX and everything he's got going on. And I was just interested in where he was going. It was just a hobby to see what business he was up to. In November, Musk brought attention to the account by making a big deal about leaving it alone. He posted, My commitment to free speech extends even to not banning the account following my plane, even though that is a direct personal safety risk. However, just one month later, Musk changed his mind and blocked Sweeney's accounts. I literally had just talked about how the account is like the canary in the coal mine. It just shows that he can continue to do what the last people did at Twitter and they can bend the rules in however which way they want. The seeming hypocrisy brought it to the attention of the media and Sweeney was interviewed on many major news sites. Um, so yeah, he does have a certain point, but you know, it is public data and I don't think there's that much of a risk. He's got, it's a, you go right from a private jet to a car at an FBO at the airport and it's all fenced in. There's a, I don't really think there's that great of a risk. He's now started Elon Jet Next Day, which stays within Twitter's rules by having a 24 hour delay. Number two, Beyonce's halftime photos. In 2013, BuzzFeed chose to include some less than glamorous shots of Beyonce's Super Bowl halftime show. It's a fine line between a fierce photo and a funny one, and Queen B wasn't impressed. When her publicist sent BuzzFeed a takedown notice, they stood their ground. They reposted the photos and this time included the takedown email with them. This second article was even more clickable than the first and brought in a slew of views. Clearly the PR person did not understand BuzzFeed. Yeah, obviously, yeah, exactly. You do not send that kind of letter to BuzzFeed and expect not to pay for it later. Even 10 years later, the photos are still very easily found on the internet. However, we would argue there's no such thing as an unflattering picture of Beyonce. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Barbara Streisand's House Party You won't be catching Barbara Streisand's home on any kind of Hollywood tour. In fact, her focus on keeping it out of the media inspired the term, the Streisand Effect. In 2003, Kenneth Adelman took a series of aerial photos of the Pacific Coast. The goal was to track environmental impact on the coastline over time. 12,000 photographs were published on this website documenting erosion of the California coastline. However, one of his photos included a picture of Streisand's Malibu mansion. Her $50 million lawsuit demanded the removal of the photo. 
Prior to the lawsuit, the image had only been downloaded six times. Before she took legal action, californiacoastline.org, not a very popular website. After the lawsuit news broke though, hundreds of thousands of people clicked onto the forbidden pic. Far more people got a glimpse of her private space from her lawsuit than if she just left it alone. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.